They both had tremendous political impact on this country. Malcolm had more impact abroad. Martin Luther King had, and the Civil Rights Movement was better known. But you could hear King's speech. It had substance. It had beauty. But you couldn't whistle it the next day. You could hear Malcolm X's speech. And you could set it to music the next day. The simplicity of a Malcolm X coming from the common area of his people, but never losing the touch, and yet being as high as an aristocrat. He could speak to an audience. The scholar would understand, the layman would understand, and neither one would feel that they'd been talked down to. He was probably one of the great imaginative orators of this time, as King was one of the great theoreticians, theologians, of the time in which he lived. Both men were great in their own way, and we should stop putting one against the other, as we should stop putting Du Bois against Booker T. Washington and Du Bois against Mac, uh, Marcus Garvey. We keep looking for contests, and we quite forget that sometimes two different men can be saying the same thing uh, using different words. And till we look at Malcolm and King in this manner, and stop assuming that that was a fight between them, I don't think we have done justice to them or looked at either one of them correctly.